Entrepreneur on Fire, episode 209. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com, where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Let their journey illuminate your path to success. And now, your host, John Dumas. Bonjour, Fire Nation, and a quick shout out to our sponsors, Squarespace and GoToMeeting. Fire Nation, did you know Squarespace offers an all-in-one platform for your website for as little as $8 a month? For a free trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code FIRE. GoToMeeting with HD Faces is the powerfully simple way to meet and collaborate with your team online. Try it free for 30 days. Visit gotomeeting.com, click the try it free button and use the promo code FIRE. Okay, Fire Nation, let's get started. I am simply thrilled to introduce my guest today, Vivica Von Rosen. Vivica, are you prepared to ignite? I am so prepared to ignite. <laughs> All right, I love it. <laughs> Vivica is the author of LinkedIn Marketing. She also hosts the biggest LinkedIn chat on Twitter and co-moderates Linked Strategies, the largest LinkedIn strategy group on LinkedIn. Forbes has listed Vivica as a top social media influencer for three years running, and I am really excited to share her journey. Vivica, I've given Fire Nation a little overview, but take a minute, tell us about you personally, we want to get to know you, and then give us an overview of your business. Sure. Um, well, I'm Vivica Von Rosen. I'm at LinkedIn expert on Twitter. And here's your first piece of advice. Fake it till you make it. You know, mm. when I started on Twitter, um, I certainly wasn't a LinkedIn expert. <laughs> just, the name just happened to be available. Um, and of course, I, I, I managed to get that handle on LinkedIn as well. So uh, my my I think one of the smartest things I ever did, and it was a total mistake, was was branding myself that early with that moniker. Um, and and as cringeworthy as calling oneself an expert or a guru is, um, it, it still works for business. So, <laughs> you know, and, and here's the thing. If you're going to call yourself a guru or an expert or, you know, uh, it, it, uh, a savant. Um, I would never call myself a savant, but uh, you're going to become one because you're going to have to prove to people over and over and over again that you are. So my first, my first piece of business advice to entrepreneurs is, you know, fake it till you make it. See or picture yourself at the best, highest, most amazing um, position you can, and then and then become that. And and what is so amazing about the technology we have and about social media is we can can do it if if you know what to do and you focus and you have the belief that you're able to do it you you really can you really can do it those are just powerful words vivica i mean fake it till you make it the reality is perception is reality so often yep. in this online world and what better motivation is there than putting yourself up on that pedestal and bust your hump to actually be worthy of being yep. on that pedestal is so important i mean for me with entrepreneur on fire i went to blog world back in june of 2012 i'd walk up to the pat flynn's the Derek halpern's of the yep. world and say hey guys this is my idea this is what i want to do will you join me all i got from them was a yes Give us an email wow. in a month or two, and then we'll go forward. So I went back to my little studio here in Portland, Maine, and I started reaching out to the big boys, and I said, you know what? Entrepreneur on fire. This is my lineup. And, you know, my quote-unquote lineup was just, you know, people who had said yes, but I was, you know, per <laughs> I was creating that perception that Entrepreneur right. on Fire had these great guests on my show, and I had them lined up, but they weren't yet on it. So I was able to build my base from there. You've gone that motivational ball rolling, Vivica, with the <laughs> fake it till you make it. So let's continue on to our first real topic, which is that success quote to keep that motivational ball rolling. So take it away. Well, and this 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 rolls into pretty much everything I'm going to talk about today. But um, 
my, my dear, dear friend, Bob Berg, uh, who wrote The Go-Giver and Go-Giver Sell More, and then, you know, way back in his past life, um, read, uh, wrote, and <laughs> also read, but wrote Endless Referrals. One of his quotes that just struck me early on, and I probably use it daily still, is all things being equal, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Yes. And that has been my mantra, and that is how I teach social media. And um, yeah, so that is that is my success quote. All things being equal, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. So take it down to the ground level, Vivica. How have you actually applied this mantra to your life? Well, you know, every every aspect of my life. And what I've learned in social media, and I, I love what you said about blog world because this this is actually how I've built my business, is people are so open and willing to interact with you. And so folks like Bob Berg and, and Mari Smith and Lee Auden and Rick Dragon and Mitch Joel and don't you love the name dragging, dropping, but all of these individuals <laughs> I, ha- I, I reached out to um, similarly saying, hey, would you mind if I interviewed you? And they were completely open to that. Now, part of the reason I think they were open to the interview is either because meeting face-to-face or meeting online, you know, always producing materials that aren't self-promotional, but are there to help people. My people go, well, how do you make money on your blog? I don't, but <laughs> right. I'm positioning myself as someone, pe- same thing with Entrepreneur on Fire. You know, you're not paying nine ninety nine to download it, but what you're doing is you're positioning yourself as someone you know, not only that people get to know as your name gets shared, but, you know, you're, you're sharing this nice stuff so people like you and, and thereby start trusting you so that when you do occasionally have a, a you know, a seminar series or you want to go get a speaking gig, you've got that top of mind awareness and that trust factor already embedded in your brand. Vivica, that is so true. You took it down to the ground level. You shared with us how you apply that mantra. Getting that know, like, and trust is so important in this world. We were both just recently at Social Media Marketing World, and it was all about content marketing and, let's be honest, podcasting. It was two ways that people can just really get that know, like, and trust. If you can really build that rapport with your potential client, you've already made that step to where you need to be. All that other jargon that people used to have to do is gone. It's all about providing value, providing incredible content, and there's a lot of great ways to do it. Podcasting is one way, and you've come up with many other ways through Twitter and through LinkedIn. Vivica, we're going to take a step back right now because Entrepreneur on Fire is about the journey of our spotlighted guest. And you're our spotlighted guest today, Vivica. And as an entrepreneur, we face failure throughout our journey. It is daily on multiple levels. So take us back to a time when you failed, Vivica, when you were in despair and heartbreak and you had to dig deep to overcome this situation. And how'd you overcome it? Well, you see, this morning when I would, no, kidding. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You know, and and actually, I don't think I've ever told this story. So, um, yes, I love that. Yeah. I I love that leading. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm not sure how many names I should share, but um, back name. when I started, yeah, every okay, um, and you know, and and in the end, I'm very grateful to both these people. But I, um, I started a, a, a LinkedIn business with my fiance. He had started it first. I came in on the business. I came in as a, you know, as as a investor. Um, we were both doing LinkedIn trainings, and uh, was very excited about, you know, the the love of my life and being able to do business with him. And and I've always loved speaking publicly and seeing that there that that was possible. And not only that, but to see that there was a possibility of of teaching LinkedIn and and doing that for a living and being able to share this amazing tool with people. And this is back in, I think it was 2005. And we brought a business partner in. We brought a a third business partner in. And long story short, let's just say she and my fiance got along a little bit too well. Oh, no. Yeah. (laughs) So within a matter of a few months, um, you know, lost my fiance, um, had to, well, obviously had to move the apartment I just moved into in Denver. And, um, and now I'm like, well, what the heck am I going to do for a living? Cause I had also quit my, my real job. And so I was pretty much devastated as you can imagine. I was like, oh crap, you know, nowhere to live, 
no job, no income, um, what am I going to do? And I got to say, it was amazing because I'd already, you know, I'd already, I guess this was actually 2007 by that point. So I'd already built up a, a network even back then. And just out of the blue, two of uh, two of the other LinkedIn mentors in my life, um, Nate Kieveman and Jason Alba, I don't know that they knew what was going on, but out of the blue, they sent me private messages on Twitter and said, hey, you know, how are you doing? How are things going? And, um, you know, you still teaching LinkedIn and through those little relationships with Nate, you know, I, we, 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 we started link strategies together. He started it. I was co-moderator um, along with some other people. Jason Alba did the, you know, add a boy and pat you on the back and, and, uh, Mari Smith, you know, who's always been a, a great friend and mentor, um, did a program with me. And so I was able to rebuild my business in a very, very, very short time. And I'm grateful now because I'm grateful that, my fiance showed me what was possible and I'm very grateful <laughs> to the the woman because <laughs> quite frankly, we were not a, we were not a good match. I, I see clearly now. So I'm incredibly grateful to her and, and they've gone on together and they've got a, a successful career doing LinkedIn the way they do it, which is different than the way I do it. And there's room for all of us. So yeah, from absolute devastation in every single part of my life to within a very, very short time realizing that everything for a reason. This was absolutely the best step for me. I work better as a solopreneur. You know, I, I, I want to be the show pony on stage. So in the support system, it was not my, you know, the best place for me. Um, so yeah, that's, and that's the thing is no matter what happens, just grieve, Give it a few minutes, a few days, a few weeks, a few months. Know that there is a silver lining and, and, and just be patient and wait for it to come. But no, that's where faith is, right? Whether you're religious or not, knowing that there's a reason for this. And that is true of personal life. It's true of business life. It's, it's true of, of, of every aspect. And sometimes it takes years to see that silver lining. But, but now I am so grateful to those two because I, I like, I love where I'm at right now in my business. Absolutely love it. So that's um, just, just patience and know that there is a reason. Vivica, that is such a powerful life lesson. And one quote that I love to hark back on at times is, to err is human, to forgive divine. I didn't say I was there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> now, let's be honest, though. To say that your fiancé just erred is being pretty nice to him. I mean, it was, it was much further along the lines than that. But you, you have forgiven, and that is divine. And that's so powerful because carrying that around with you is just an evil that's going to rot you from within. And being able to put that to bed and to move forward with your life in a positive direction just speaks volumes of you. And I'm just so glad you could share that with Fire Nation. So thank you for that. And we're going to use this just powerful moment to move to the other end of the spectrum, the aha moment, that light bulb that goes off when the clouds part, the sun shines through, and you say, wow, this is my authentic self. This is what I want to do with my life. Share with us that moment, Vivica, and how you turned it into success. Well, I think the first, um, so very shortly after that whole thing happened, I was contacted by um, by an association that when I'd had my, quote, real job, uh, that, that we'd been a member of. And they knew that I was doing social media. I mean, <laughs> if you can get in on something early, or early do it, because Boom. that is, you know, right? Um but uh, they, they contacted me and I remember, and I don't think I've ever since then stood in an audience with so much wealth, but we were in the wall, my, my first big speaking gig, my first big professional speaking gig, Waldorf Astoria, New York City, um, to uh, about 500 of the, the world's richest people, um, of which at least probably half were billionaires. Now, unfortunately, I was brand new to the business, so it would have been really handy if I'd actually had a, a program to sell or had even constructed some, some services, <laughs> even had a pamphlet. <laughs> at least I had a business card. Um, so, so the opportunity there was kind of lost. However, I always go back to that moment, standing in front in this grand ballroom, you know, full of marble and 
in front of these people from Dubai and Abu Dhabi and, and all over the U S and, you know, just looking at their watches for heaven's sake, you know, worth more than probably all my cars I've ever had in my life. And I was just like, you know what? This is what I'm meant to be doing. So that was that was one of the aha moments. The second one was fairly recently. Um, you mentioned social media marketing world. Uh, Phil Mershon um, invited me to speak there, and the first time I saw that, you know, the 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 logo they have with all of our our photos on it, all the speakers' photos, and I'm I'm embedded between you know two of my biggest. Uh, mentors and and I'm underneath another one of my biggest mentors and I'm like not only is am I build with these people which is unbelievable but um, I get to like hang out with them so that was that was really an aha moment for me and and you know the third one is when you get your book published for the first time right um, yeah that was huge so um i this is probably the three aha moments and i expect to have many many more <laughs> <laughs> absolutely vivica and i love <laughs> what you said early on in this section about if you find something early you know get in there quick because especially in this day and age those are just powerful words to live by there's never been a time where we can literally find this new experience that's coming on. And for you, it was LinkedIn. For me, it was the rebirth of podcasting and just diving yeah. in hook, line and sinker and just committing yourself to it and becoming that expert. And then people of every stratosphere are going to look to you on that pedestal. As we said, perception is reality. You are perceived as the LinkedIn guru. And even these people who are worth billions of dollars knew that your knowledge could provide them value. And that is just an incredible place to be. And I love all three of your aha moments. And it's a perfect segue to my next question, which is, have you had an I've made it moment? I was sitting at Social Media Marketing World, sick as a dog, actually, truth be told. Um, it was Tuesday afternoon. We're sitting in the networking area. Um, I'm sitting there with, with Lee Auden, Rick Dragon, M Mark Schaefer, Jeff Bullis, um, who else was there? Uh, some some other friends of mine who aren't nationally known. Uh, <laughs> on the phone with Mari Smith, getting ready to go have dinner, and I'm like, "Holy crap!" You know, this is I, not so much I've made it, but man, I never thought I'd get here. And plus, those are the, like the nicest people in the world, right? You know. Oh my gosh, they are so generous with their time, with their knowledge. Um, they are just incredibly, incredibly cool people. So, uh, you know, and, and all it took was me reaching out to them. And some of them reached out to me before, before the conference. And, you know, it does <laughs> another teaching point. Why not ask people right. if they're willing to give you an interview? Worst they can say is no. Best they can say is yes. And it, there's nothing like 15, 20, 30 minutes with someone on the, on the phone to move from en engagement to acquaintance and maybe even friendship. Um, yeah, it's a very, very powerful world. And you're a great proof of that, Vivica. And I mean, look at Entrepreneur on Fire with me. I mean, prior to launching my podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire, I was an officer in the army for eight years. I was wow. in corporate finance. I was in commercial real estate. I mean, I had nothing to do with the online world. I had zero network. I had zero knowledge. I just was like, you know what? My aha moment is to create this incredible podcast that seven days a week provides amazing content by interviewing inspiring entrepreneurs from around the world. And even with me having zero network and zero credibility, just with a genuine passion, I've been able to go out there and interview the likes of Seth Godin, Tim Ferriss, Gary Vaynerchuk, Barbara Corcoran, Mari Smith, Vivica Van Rosen. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on, right? It, it is so true. And what I love and what I think is so important for entrepreneurs, passion. You know, passion, commitment, you know you're going to go all out. You got to be on fire. You got to, you know, you went not one day a week not three days a week. You're like, I'm going to do this every single day, every day, which is crazy, I'm nuts. but it's that little extra bit. I think that differentiates you from everyone else out there starting blogs like mine <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> podcasts, you know? So you have got this level of commitment, this level of passion, and it shows through. It absolutely shows through. And that's why all those people said yes to you. 
Well, thank you for that. And honestly, think about it to the listeners out there. If I had just, as a nobody, decided, you know what, I'm going to do one podcast a week like everybody else is doing. By this point in my career, I would have interviewed about 30 entrepreneurs, which is a a (laughs) good number. But, you know, by doing daily, I have interviewed over 212 entrepreneurs thus far with Entrepreneur on Fire. Because of my daily podcast is standing out, I was asked to speak about my journey in podcasting at New Media Expo by Blog World this past January in Vegas. And it was a great experience. And when I go to places like Social Media Marketing World, I know and can walk up to every single speaker and say, hi, because I've interviewed them. When I saw Mari Smith, I gave her a wave and she's like, John Lee Dumas, Entrepreneur on Fire, get over here. Let's take a picture. And I was like, sweet. So I mean, (laughs) to the listeners out there, that's what it's all about. Find your passion that you're willing to just go hook, line, and sinker in and then do it better than anybody else is out there doing it. And it's just really exciting that we live in a day and age that you can do that. So Vivica, Obviously, we're both passionate people. We can get going and we may never stop. So it's my job as the host to rein us in because I want to talk about you right now, present time. Share with Fire Nation one thing that is really exciting you about your business right now. You know, I'm... I'm rebranding again and I'm rebranding to my name because while it's great being LinkedIn expert, there's nothing like going to a conference and someone says, this is Vivica Von Rosen. Oh yeah. Hi. And she's <laughs> at LinkedIn expert on Twitter. Oh, I follow you. You're great. So, <laughs> I'd really, you know, and we were talking before the podcast, you know, I've got a name. I've either got to be an author, an actress or a stripper. Yeah. And quite frankly, I don't have the body to be a stripper. So I really need to make it, you know, it's a great name. Thank you, grandmother. It is. Um, <laughs> it is, isn't it? And, uh, you know, not not mine. I got it from my grandmother. So um, I'm going to do something with that. So really excited about rebranding to myself, which also means that I can start um, – you know, bring in other things I'm, I'm passionate about, right. like, like you, you know, helping entrepreneurs, focusing on more on entrepreneurs, breaking away. I mean, I'll always talk about Twitter, or LinkedIn, well, Twitter too, but LinkedIn, because it's so powerful. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited about rebranding to myself. Powerful. And on that rebranding, no, Vivica, what is your vision for the future? What do you see VivicaVonRosen.com looking like? Well, more of what more of what I'm doing right now. I mean, I love being on stage. I love influencing people. I love um, helping entre- You know, an entre- I, I do a lot of B two B right now, just because you know the LinkedIn market. But my passion is around entrepreneurs. Have been one myself my entire life. Have helped entrepreneurs my entire life. And really, I mean, I. I I'm so passionate about this day and age, this technology that we have. And it really is a matter of if you believe it enough, you can do it. And you asked me a question. I don't know if we'll get to it or not. And it really got me thinking um, this past week about you really can. You know, if you've got a computer and Internet access within a matter of a couple weeks, you could have a viable business, a, a profitable, viable business. Great stuff, Vivica. And before we continue, we're going to take a quick second to thank our sponsors, GoToMeeting and Squarespace. When your entire team can get together, it's amazing what gets accomplished. Projects that take weeks, decisions that take days, they're done right then and there. But gathering everyone together from different locations can be time-consuming, expensive, and often plain impossible. That's why we use GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It makes it easy for your entire team to get together whenever you need to, no matter where people are. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, you can share the same screen so you stay on the same page. And with built-in video conferencing, it makes your online meetings just like being in the same room. Just turn on that webcam. Plus, it's simple to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, smartphone, or tablet. Even present from your iPad. Fire Nation, try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Don't wait. For this special offer, visit gotomeeting.com, click the try it free button, and use a promo code FIRE. Remember, use a promo code FIRE. Now let's chat Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it easy for you to create your own website that's designed just the way you want it. Now, when I say all-in-one, I mean it. With Squarespace, you're getting a platform that includes features like hosting, SEO, and even makes your site automatically look great on any device through their responsive design. It's incredibly easy to use, and here's the best part. 
Squarespace is all in one platform starts at just $8 a month. And that includes your domain name if you sign up for a year. Squarespace is also constantly updating their platform with new features, designs, increasing customer support to make sure you have all the tools you need to create the website you want. They have a ton of beautifully designed templates for you to start with and tons of options for you to adjust as you start building your website. Fire Nation, you can sign up for a free trial and get 10% off when you go to squarespace.com and use the offer code FIRE. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. Okay, now it's time for the lightning round. And it's my favorite okay. part of the show, Vivica, because I get to ask you a series of questions and you come back at us, Fire Nation, with amazing and mind-blowing answers. Sound like a plan? <laughs> Rapid fire, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid fire nation. <laughs> what was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? A belief, um, belief that I couldn't do it, belief that, you know, didn't have enough money, belief that I didn't have enough knowledge, belief that I didn't, you know, who am I going to call myself an expert? So belief in self, it, it, I think that is what in the end holds everyone back. And, and that's what um, inhibits success is, is fear, you know, and lack of belief and fear. Powerful. What is the best business advice you've ever received? What have you got to lose? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you know, ask, what have you got to lose? Ask, what have you got to lose? Ask, what have you got to lose? And, and it's true. What have you got to lose? If you've got too much to lose, don't do it. But, you know, what does it hurt to ask someone for an interview? What does it hurt to ask someone to mentor you? What does it hurt to ask someone to do trade services if you're broke? What does it hurt to ask? And if having too much to lose means hearing a no, then you're definitely not in the right field of being an entrepreneur because that is <laughs> the definition of being an entrepreneur. You need to em no. <laughs> embrace that no, go for That's that right. no, and okay. use that no to pivot and to just improve yourself, improve exactly your right. pitch, improve what you're offering because that's what it's all about, getting in there and mixing it up. That's exactly right. No's are, you know, to me, no's are the boundaries that, that help clarify my path. Yeah, love <laughs> right? that. Right? Yeah. That should be your quote, Vivica. Okay. <laughs> That's my quote. Those are the boundaries that clarify your path. You need to write that down. I love that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Vivica, what's something that's working for you right now? You know, LinkedIn works for me. What can I say? <laughs> um, LinkedIn has got great SEO for, for Google and Bing, but LinkedIn itself is just um, because of the way it's set up with the three levels, deep connections, showing you the path to reach out to people. There are very few people that I can't find and engage with um, via LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is, is working for me right now quite well. Do you have an internet resource like an Evernote that you're just in love with that you can share with our listeners? Yeah, my dear friend Nick Kellett um, has a has a tool called Listly. It's L I S T dot L Y. It is an incredible, um, not only a social bookmarking tool, but it is a embeddable. It's shareable. It's curatable. Um, it is just an incredible and incredible, incredible tool. And anyone who does blogging um, needs to know about it. Uh, List dot Lee. It's it's so awesome. Perfect. Well, Fire Nation, you can find the link to this resource and everything else that we've mentioned in today's episode by going to entrepreneuronfire.com slash Vivica Von Rosen. So Vivica, if you could recommend one book for Fire Nation, what would it be? You know, it would be Bob, Bob Berg's book, um, The Go-Giver. And then if you wanted to read Go-Giver, sell more. And if you wanted to read Endless Referrals, especially if you're in sales and marketing. But, I, you know, I, before I even met Bob, I was reading and quoting and making my, my clients <laughs> um, uh, read Go-Giver because it's just, even though it has nothing to do with social media, it epitomizes that no like, and trust. It epitomizes that... Um, you know, place where I think every successful internet or social media marketer needs to come from. Powerful. Well, Fire Nation, you know that you can get the audio version of this book for free by going to eofirebook.com, a gift from Audible for Entrepreneur and Fire listeners, eofirebook.com. So Vivica, this next question is my favorite. It's kind of tricky. It. So take your yeah. time, <laughs> digest it, then come back at us with an answer. Imagine you woke up tomorrow morning in a brand new world, identical to earth, but you knew no one. You still have all the experience and knowledge you currently have, your food and shelter is taken care of, but all you have is a laptop and $500. What would you do in the next seven days? Well, and I'm assuming my laptop is a Mac because, you know, <laughs> just can't use a PC. So... <laughs> 
you know, first thing I would want to do is establish a presence for myself. So, um, well, actually, the first thing I would do is my research. So I'd get on Google or whatever browser this use, this world is using. I would see conferences that are being um, are being or or have just recently been. Um, uh, promoted, see who's speaking there, see who the influences are, research who's influential in my industry, um, you know, re- download as many free ebooks and, and free webinars and free, you know, free, free podcasts as I could to really get a feel of what's hot, who's happening, and, and what are people listening to and what are people wanting? Because um, that's going to give me that's going to give me what I'm going to do. Um, it's also going to help me formulate the the, um, the 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 formulate the strategy. Um, so then the second thing I'm going to do is is create a brand for myself. You know, get a get a if I've only got five hundred dollars, I'll I'll uh, get a website on um, WordPress.com. You know, it's free. Maybe I I customize it. You know, spend the eighteen dollars a year or whatever it is to have a unique <laughs> URL. Uh, it's crazy, right? I mean. Yes, you too can have a website for eighteen dollars. Right. Um, since I suck at, uh, at at any kind of graphic design myself, I would see if there was something like Fiverr um, in this new world, and I would get someone to help me create my logos, help me create my headers, help me brand. Um, and then I would start uh, getting on, you know, whatever the social media top social media tools are, and I would start. Just exactly like you did. I, I would do exactly what you did. I would, you know, here I'm going to be the expert and this is what I'm going to do, whatever medium it is that I'm that most jives with what I love to do. And then I'm going to go out and I'm going to start interviewing people. And then maybe I transcribe it myself or maybe I find someone on Odesk to, you know, for $10. And I'm going to transcribe those interviews. I'm going to make an ebook myself. I'm going to set up an email you know, a, an email system where I'm gathering emails, I'm going to build my list. And by the end of the week, you know, I will have at least taken the first steps in positioning myself so that like you, when I, you know, when I reach out to my ideal and my perfect client, which is another thing I have to do is figure out who is going to be my client and, and what do they look like? And, you know, in a general way, what are their names? What do they do for a living? What do they like? What do they not like? What are their points of pain and get all that information that you need. And then I'm gonna start reaching out to them. Hey, you know, I've done exactly what you did. Hey, you know, I've interviewed these people. I've got this ebook. I've got this product and you should have me come speak at your next event. <laughs> and you know, it, but, but here's the thing. You can do it today and you can do it with $500 and a laptop. I mean, that is what is so crazy because we're not, you know, we're even, well, I did. I lost everything. I lost everything about seven years ago. But I didn't, I hadn't lost my connections. I hadn't lost my knowledge. I hadn't lost my, my burning passion to succeed. I hadn't lost with the clarity of knowing what I was good at. And so I, I rebuilt a better business. And so it's so cool because anyone who's got that entrepreneurial spark can do this, can absolutely do this. Vivica, I love this answer on so many levels. For one, I always get asked, John, how do you find your guests? And you nailed it. I literally go to upcoming events or just past events and look at the speakers list. I mean, those are the movers and shakers in our industry. That's how I found you, Vivica. I went to Social Media Marketing World, pulled up the agenda of speakers and said, this girl looks great. I'm going to ask and see if she'll be on my show. So I reached out. I said, hey, Vivica, gave you my spiel. We had set up this interview. Obviously, it was going to be for after social media marketing world, but we had that original connection. So, you know, had I been able to meet you, if you hadn't been ill during social media marketing <laughs> world, we would have bumped into each other and I would have been able to have a great interaction with you because I was John Lee Doom was the entrepreneur on fire. And That's we have right. an interview set up, you know, in the upcoming weeks to have a great conversation. And so I was able to make amazing connections through that, obviously have amazing guests lined up for my show, and it's just been wonderful. And you just gave such an actionable answer there, Vivica, and you've given actionable advice this entire interview, and we are all better for it. Give Fire Nation one parting piece of guidance, share how we can find you, and then we'll say goodbye. Okay. Um, just... <laughs> As you know, horky, ho- hokey, corny, and whatever as it as it sounds, believe in yourself. You and if you can't find other people who believe in you and call them up when you're having a bad day, but um, and any one of us 
we've got the tools. So any one of us can, can really be incredibly successful um, in any arena, I think. And, uh, you know, there's so much f- great free information. Now. I mean, we can all, attend. heck, you can go to a HubSpot and get certified in social media for free, right? right? So there's, these days, there's so much information. You don't even need, uh, well, I'm not saying don't don't get a college degree, but you don't even need a college degree. So, um, you know, really, it, it, it just, it, it's all about focus. It's all about focus and intent and, and, and remaining true to yourself and your beliefs. Um, so that is, you know, <laughs> you've heard it from everyone from Tony Robbins to me now, but, um, <laughs> but it is so darn true. Right. And I'm sure way to compare probably, yourself to Tony Robbins. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to, but anyway, um, so, <laughs> that, but any one of us, you know, any one of us, any one of us can quiz, can position myself ourselves because seven years ago I had nothing. Thing. And and um, and except my relationships, and that's that's the most important thing that you can have, I think, uh, in this day: relationships and belief in yourself. Um, how you can find me if you Google LinkedIn expert, my LinkedIn account actually shows up first. Please feel free to invite me to connect. Uh, just use however you want to say we're friends, colleagues, classmates. I don't care, um, but please <laughs> connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm at LinkedIn expert on Twitter. That's probably the best way to interact and engage with me. Um, we have the LinkedIn chat on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you ever have any LinkedIn questions and you happen to be on Twitter, um, we've got a LinkedIn experts community. So uh, on Google Plus, I love Google Plus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so, Google uh, Hangouts is such a disruptor. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, hangouts and and um, and communities are amazing. So please, you know, join our community. I've got link chat group on on LinkedIn. We've got link strategies on LinkedIn. So many many different ways of finding me. Just or Google my name, Vivica Von Rosen. But please reach out, engage, ask me any questions you have. Um, I'm I'm really I'm I'm here to serve. You know, in the end, I'm here to serve. Vivica, thank you for being so generous with your time, your expertise, your experience. Fire Nation salutes you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you. Fire Nation, what great idea do you have brewing inside you? Enough brewing. Take powerful action today. Go grab your domain and get your website up. I've created a simple seven-minute tutorial that will walk you through acquiring your domain for free all the way to your first post. Go to eofirewebsite.com to access this great tutorial, your free domain, and much more. That's eofirewebsite.com. Thank you for joining us at entrepreneuronfire.com, your daily dose of inspiration. Prepare to ignite.